This is the portal gun, but what if I told you it's not a gun at all? It's a very polite argument with reality that just keeps winning. All right, let me show you why. First, I'm going to pull this thing apart slowly so you can see every secret that it's hiding. Exploded view locked. Labels online, no magic tricks, just engineering with a sense of humor. Back here is home base, the fan battery housing, high draw cell, thick thermal sink, and a grip that says, yes, a human can actually hold this. It's the unsung hero. If this dies, everything else becomes a paperweight. Right behind that, the rear fan. It's tiny, but it carries a weight of the room. Pulling heat off of the chamber and pushing waste air out so the scary stuff up front stays boring and stable. Speaking of scary stuff, the core. Inside this shell sits a micro singularity. Call it a black hole if you want the drama. It's seat sized and absolutely rude to the laws of the universe. If the battery is the heart, this is the appetite. To keep that appetite from eating our day job, we clamp it with the ring singularity harness. Watch the jaws articulate. They don't just hold, they vector lock. Hitting the core in place even as the field tries to wobble. Now the upper and lower rings slide in. Between them, the event horizon estimator wakes up. A little brain that says, open the doorway this big at this angle and nobody explodes. We love that for us. Moving forward, the long front tube is the portal intake manifold. This is where chaos gets manners. Channels, fields, into a clean column. So when the portal opens, it opens like a door and not a blender. Under the belly, the big scoop is called the die trap. This is the part for you and me and not the physics. We inject dye so that we can see the invisible and watch the air bend. Watch currents, make decisions, your eyes would normally miss. Then these little miracles extend, the quantum shaping prongs, A, B, and C. They're sculptors. They trim the field edges so your doorway has corners you can trust. If you've ever walked through a crooked door frame, you know why this matters. Okay, everything's understood. Let's put it back together. Compression in three, two, one. Blueprint lines fade, real materials lock. Now it looks like something you'd actually carry. Test time, two walls, one behind us, one ahead. Arming sequence is online, portal A is open. Portal B is open. Look at that die. The smoke tails are bending towards each rim, like the room is breathing in stereo. This is the polite argument I was talking about. We ask the world to be in two places at once, and the world shrugs and says, fine. But a doorway is just a promise until someone uses it. So here's the fun part. Our character can cleanly run room to room, no worries at all. And that's also thanks to our sponsor. The running bit was super simple, and we never touched a keyframe in the animation. Here's the full pipeline that I did. I exported the character as an OBJ, uploaded it to Mixamo, I picked a run preview, then I downloaded that FBX, and brought it back into Blender, then used the Rococo add-on to retarget the motion onto our rig. Fast, clean, and done. The character hits Portal A, then exits Portal B, and keeps running. If you want to push performance even further, the same workflow plays perfectly with the Rococo suits, the same add-on, more detail in the motion. All my links are below, because the best part of any blueprint is stepping through it. Thank you so much for watching.